Not much has changed since the advent of the original Razer Blade 15 in spring 2018. The refreshed, so-called advanced model, is outfitted with the same CNC-milled aluminum chassis as its predecessor. Only this time it harbors the latest graphics chips from NVIDIA, namely the RTX family of Turing architecture-based GPUs. Among its configurations are an RTX 2080 model, capable of running the ray-traced Metro Exodus at over 50 frames per second with all the visual settings cranked to the top. In our testing, despite its power-hungry guts, it wowed us with an unusual 5-hour and 1-minute battery life. So while it's no longer the thinnest or the lightest in its class, it is the longest-lasting premium gaming laptop we've seen to date. It's also one of the more expensive. You could argue that's because the Razer Blade 15 aims to replace not only your desktop, but your existing laptop too. After all, its touchpad is the closest thing to a MacBook trackpad you will find on a Windows notebook. That includes non-gaming laptops like the Dell XPS 13, which is met with staggering acclaim each time it's repackaged and re-released. In just about every way, the Razer Blade 15 feels like a dream. Chalk it up to the engineering talent, say what you will about the Triserpent Parading Californian Hardware Company. It now makes the best gaming laptop on the market. Whether others will follow suit, taking inspiration from the well-rounded machine remains to be seen. Also bad for its competitors is the fact that the Razer Blade 15 is available in an abundance of different flavors, most of which actually make a lot of sense. If you want a 4K OLED screen, it's exclusive to an RTX 2080 configuration, perhaps the only Max-Q graphics card that could hope to drive 4K graphics. More likely it's that you'll opt for one of the many higher volume FHD 144Hz models, lest you wind up playing at 1440p, thereby styming its true potential. Whatever the case, you can take solace in the fact that the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model is the overall best gaming laptop on the market right now, and until someone else steps up to the plate to contest this crowning achievement, it will continue to sit here at the top of this list. At number 2, we have the MSI GS65 Stealth. The GS65 Stealth Thin is the best gaming laptop we tested in 2019. It's a fantastic all-rounder that still packs a punch in terms of specs and design. It has the versatility of a notebook and, because it's light and sturdy, it's incredibly easy to just pop in your bag and carry around all day for whatever you need to use it for. It has a sleek matte black aluminum body with gold accents that feel sturdy and luxurious, and thankfully lacking in obnoxious gamer aesthetics. Best of all, in addition to a slim, 18mm thickness, the screen's 4.9mm thin bezels allow for an overall chassis size that's about an inch smaller than most 15-inch laptops, while still packing the same screen real estate. While it won't do ray tracing, the specs here are enough to handle most modern games in 2019. However, the MSI GS65 Stealth Thin models are in something of a transition right now. It's tough to track down the 1070 build, which is probably the best, unless you want a mind-boggling 32 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte SSD. You can still get the 1060 model with a 16 gig RAM spec and 256 gig SSD, which shaves a massive amount off the price, but cuts performance a little. You can also buy the newer 2070 models, but they're super expensive too, and didn't impress as much during testing. There are other nice details on the GS65, which still makes it a great laptop. A keyboard from SteelSeries that's solid and responsive, a responsive touchpad, a webcam that's placed at the top of the screen, thankfully avoiding the abysmal, unflattering nose cam found on most thin bezel laptops like the Dell XPS 13. The only gaming feature missing here is G-Sync, but this allows for both a lower price tag and battery life that legitimately lasts through a whole day of email, web browsing, and streaming video. At number 3, we have the Acer Predator Helios 300. We loved Acer Predator Helios 300 during the 10 series era. At just over a grand, sometimes less if you could find it on sale, it offered a GTX 1060 6 gig graphics card that could lock down 60 frames per second at near max settings in most games from the last few years. Now the newer model Helios is back with a GTX 1660 Ti GPU and a sleeker form factor for basically the same price. The new and improved Helios 300 has a 144Hz IPS screen as well as smaller bezels, putting it more in line with sleek thin and lights than its more bulky brethren of the previous generation. RAM speed has been bumped up to 2666MHz as well, which is a nice improvement. The only real drawback here is the diminutive SSD, although there are large storage options if you want more space. At number 4, we have the Lenovo Legion Y740. Though they've existed for but a couple of years now, Lenovo's Legion branded laptops have made a name for themselves in the gaming industry, if only because they offer unprecedented value on top-notch specs. Rather than crafting jack-of-all-trades, the Chinese tech company, known primarily for its ThinkPads, aims to squeeze the most performance out of the cheapest possible materials without compromising on quality and design. This principle is nowhere more evident than in the Lenovo Legion Y740, a 17.3-inch gaming laptop 
whose graphics chips range from NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 to 2080, and for a fraction of the price of its major competitors. Sure, considerably thinner than previous generations as they may be, its bezels are bigger and more distracting than the norm, but the screen itself leverages technology rarely seen elsewhere. Dolby Vision HDR, for example, is in full bloom on this fluid 144Hz IPS display, and G-Sync eliminates the need for software-based adaptive sync protocols, such as V-Sync, which notoriously reeks of input lag and micro-stuttering. On the audio end, the Y740 is graced with another striking Dolby technology, Atmos by way of a fine-tuned onboard soundbar that emits a wide range of crisp frequencies, valuing mid-range and bass tones in equal measure. Built into its Windows 10 Home install is the Dolby Atmos software as well, paving the way to customize EQ profiles and nearly make up for the down-firing orientation of the speakers. If real-time ray tracing is your endgame, the Lenovo Legion Y740 does not disappoint. In fact, in the Metro Exodus RTX benchmark, which sees most of the in-game graphics settings cranked all the way up, the Y740 managed an impressive average of 46 frames per second. Tamper a few of those sliders and you can bank out on a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. With ray tracing turned on, for about 30% less than the cost of its premium priced rivals configured with the same specs. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the Acer Predator Triton 500. Not everyone needs the thinnest or most powerful gaming laptop. Sometimes still thin and still powerful is just fine. Striking a healthy balance between portability, performance, and price is the Acer Predator Triton 500, a Max-Q notebook that emerged from somewhere out of the woodwork to impress our dedicated team of hardware testers at the top-secret PC Gamer Lab. Wielding an RTX 2080, the model we reviewed is priced somewhere in the middle at $2499. However, you can find an RTX 2060 version at the $1799 mark. Either way, it's well worth your while, seeing as it can push Metro Exodus at the highest settings, with ray tracing on at an average pace of 56 frames per second. And while it's doing so, you get to experience the luxury of its deeply satisfying 1.7mm keyboard travel and a Microsoft Precision touchpad that we surprisingly don't hate. Despite its terrifying default boot-up noise, 